Hi, boys and girls. This is Pastor Floyd Roseberry, and I want to read a uh, poem to you. It's called, Twas the Evening of Christmas, and it's about Joseph and Mary and the birth of the baby Jesus. Twas the evening of Christmas, when all through the town Every inn was so crowded, no room could be found. Tired Mary and Joseph, who went door to door, at last found a place on a small stable floor. Thank goodness, said Mary, who tiptoed inside. The mice saw the donkey and scurried to hide. The rest of the creatures all cuddled up tight in hopes that they had a calm and peaceful night. The pigeons were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of breadcrumbs danced round their heads. The cows closed their eyes, and the oxen laid down. The doves cooed so gently, the lambs made no sound. The moon through the trees was just starting to glow, the glimmer of light on the stable below. When quite by surprise came a newborn babe's cry that woke all the animals sleeping nearby. Up jumped the cows and the oxen and sheep. Up popped the pigeons aroused from their sleep. Then all came to gaze at the small baby boy as his mama and papa hugged him with joy. Now donkeys, now cows, now pigeons and sheep, now oxen and mice in the manger did peep. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples so sweet, as they nuzzled his fingers and cute little feet. And out on the field, taking care of their sheep. Some shepherds were just getting ready to sleep. But all of a sudden, they had such a fright and a whole choir of angels lit up the night. But the song of the angels, the words that they said, soon let the men know they had nothing to dread. Dear shepherds, it's wonderful news that we bring. A savior is born. He is Jesus, the king. They ran to the stable and peered through the door and saw something never imagined before. There in a manger, a baby boy lay. No blankets, no pillow. His bed made of hay. And to that small stable, came three splendid kings with gifts for the baby, all beautiful things. They jumped from their camels and knelt at his feet with their frankincense gold and myrrh that smelled sweet. The stable was filled with a wonderful light as stars above Bethlehem twinkled so bright, and high in the heavens God whispered, My son, you'll bring hope to the world and love everyone. And back to their slumbers the animals curled, amazed at this babe who entered their world. As Mary and Joseph got ready for bed, they snuggled their baby and kissed his sweet head. As Mary lay Jesus asleep in the hay, she thought about all that had happened that day. The mice heard her whisper as she tucked him in tight. Merry Christmas, my son, and to all a good night. I think the two most important words in this story are love everyone. You may probably remember the most uh, popular verse in the Bible, God so loved the world 
that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but will have everlasting life. Jesus himself said the night before he died, I want you to remain, stay close to, keep close to my love. I love you and that's the most important thing you need to learn. Today I was thinking about a very famous religious man in our country. And uh, one time he said to himself, who am I? And this was his answer. The deepest realization of who I am is that I am one loved by Christ. So that's the most important thing you and I could know. And I would like to leave those words with you tonight. Remember the little song, Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. We are weak, but he is strong. God bless you and have a Merry Christmas. Good night.